are you doing today akshay here and welcome back to my channel tech finders so in this video finally we got this sp510 bluetooth wireless neckband so we'll do the unboxing and review as we always do and we'll let you know how good these are for you so without any further ado let's get started in this video so here is our box and as you can see that these are blue in color and this comes with an ipx5 water resistant rating extra base 15 hours of continuous music playback time and these are wi sp510 simultaneously they come with one year warranty so let's unbox this and let's see the contents inside the box so here you will find a usual manual guide inside the box apart from that mm -hmm, let's have a look so here it comes these are pretty tiny and very lightweight i can say that okay taking them out made of plastic looks like a durable one i think so okay keeping it aside we will talk more about that later in this video let's see what we have inside the box so here we have this extra packet let's see what are the contents so we have this usb c type charging it's pretty great as we can see that from the last trend that sony is following this and they are having this USB Type-C and some extra pair of ear tips and fins so here we can find the specification of these headphones so these are DC 3.7 built-in lithium-ion rechargeable battery and we can charge it with using 5 volt so always use 5 watt adapter to charge this uh, sorry rated power consumption is 0.5 volt and maximum playback time is 15 hours standby time is 200 hours Charging time is almost 3 hours, so this is a little bit annoying because they are USB-C and takes 3 hours to completely charge. It can be done by a normal uh, micro USB B type charger also. So they give 10 minutes of quick charging and with that you can have uh, 60 minutes of music playback time. 30 gram is the approximate weight. You will find the Sony logo embedded here. Here we are having this USB-C type charging dock. You can pretty much charge your earphone. and when we talk about the music control uh, the music controls are inside so here a volume up down and power button it's left and right and also when we talk about these earbuds these are magnetically tangled but magnetic uh, quality is very poor it can detach very easily so powering on is very easy press and hold this power button and i think there should be an led indicator to show that whether these are powered on yeah so it is right above the power button you can see here this led notification is flowing it means it is ready to pair with your phone okay scanning i can find wisp510 just give the permission and they will get paired okay looking forward these are having almost 70 percent of battery life going to the previous and next track is pretty easy just hold the volume up button for two seconds and you will be in the next track moving to the previous track also it's pretty easy just hold this volume down button for two seconds and boom you will be in the previous track okay now when we talk about the play and pause it really worked great so there's a very little delay in terms of playing and pausing if you want to increase the volume just press the volume up button once to decrease the volume press the volume down button once if you double press the power button it will call your voice trend what is the temperature boom the microphone quality is pretty great i can say that without even having a microphone test because these are almost like one meter apart from my mouth and really they pick my voice pretty great okay so that part is really great and if you want you can even answer or reject a call okay so these earphones have passed in our button test so here we are back and now we're going to talk about the build quality sound quality comfortability its range connectivity issue the build quality of these earphones are pretty solid and it's very comfortable to wear in your neck and ears and the approximate weight is somewhere around 30 grams so pretty lightweight in that terms and also the fin tips and ear tips are made of silicon high grade silicon they are made of so they are very comfortable in your ears and they really fits perfectly in your ear canal no matter how big or small your ear is and if it doesn't fit your ears change the ear tip as well as the fin tips and definitely it gonna fit now when we talk about the sound quality, sound quality is pretty great. Uh, when I say great, it means the vocals are crisp and clear. 
thighs are very well tuned when i compare these earphones with the previous generation of the sony earphone wsc200 c300 uh, or any other neck band from sony from the last year i found just one problem the problem is that the base there was an issue with the base so the base was not that punchy and not crispy but right now in these neck band you will find the base as punchy as well as more crispy okay so it's pretty great if you are a base lover and definitely you want mids and highs also clear and distinguishable from base then definitely these earphones are for you now moving on the comfortability highly comfortable definitely you can use them for long uses without any issue now when we talk about the connectivity connectivity is pretty great and in indoors you can definitely use it two or three walls away uh, definitely if you are in a kitchen you want to go to the bedroom or you want to go to the living room boom connection is not going to break pretty solid connection bluetooth version 5.0 and outdoor it gives me almost roughly like 9 to 10 meters of range in line of sight now when we talk about the latency or delay yeah there's a little bit of latency in terms of playing or pausing the music i found it uh, with the cloud based uh, music player that is spotify gana and other apps but yeah if you are having a local player definitely the music connectivity is pretty solid and the play and pause button works really great apart from that skipping the track or changing the volume definitely it works very fast and i can say almost instantaneously it works so there is no delay i don't know why exactly there's a delay in terms of just playing and pausing now when we talk about uh, the video experience definitely there is no delay while you are playing the video on youtube or locally uh, and there is no uh, no sync out effect of audio as well as video so definitely that works pretty well now a lot of people ask about playing games and all yeah definitely you cannot use bluetooth uh, earphone for playing games with zero latency definitely there gonna be latency so i found it somewhere around 500 milliseconds of 0.5 second latency in terms of playing pubg call of duty or free fire so when i fire the gun i can hear the bullet noise after 0.5 second or sometimes even one second depends upon latency changes but yeah there's a little bit latency is there talking about the enemy footstep definitely you can hear your footstep as well as enemy footstep approaching to you so no issue with that and also there is no connection breakage once you are playing the game although there's latency there are some cases where a lot of earphones tend to have a connection breakage or they're not syncing it but yeah that is not the case with these earphones so it works pretty great in terms of that too also so that part you always need to keep in mind whether you are purchasing these earphones or any other wireless bluetooth earphones there cannot be a zero latency in terms of playing game so there would be a little bit of latency you need to be with that the battery life the battery life is pretty decent you can get almost 13 to 14 hours of music playback time at 50% volume one thing i noticed in these earphones is that if you crank the volume up to like 80 to 90% uh, i didn't found the music to be very soothing although it's loud bass is more punchier it sounds great at 40 to 60% of volume without any doubt and i can say that they are really loud at 70 to 80% volume and also the noise isolation technique you can say passive noise isolation is very good once you play the music uh, it gives you almost like 95% noise isolation as compared to other earphones it's pretty good because of two reason first is fitting second is that these earphones are having this ear test which are really made of high quality silicon so absorb a lot of noise i have not seen the passive noise isolation to be that great if you are compared with any other earphones the passive noise isolation is very good now here comes the second last point which is microphone the microphone is pretty decent definitely you can use it for voice or video call it doesn't have a closed loop system as the earlier wc200 and 300 310 earphones were having i've done the video on both of them links will be in description as well as on the card you can go and check that video too if you're looking for a cheaper version of these earphones they were only having just one drawback and the drawback is that whenever you are going to use the earphones uh, for voice or video calling there's a closed loop active feedback and you can pretty much hear your own voice than the uh, other side person voice so that is a drawback in that which is completely solved in these earphones so definitely if you want something for voice or video calling boom these ones are for you so now here comes the last point which is zim friendly earphone are these earphones are zim friendly yes definitely we call zim friendly earphone just for two reasons first is your fitting if it fits perfectly in your ear canal boom you have covered 50% of the zim friendly earphone yes and second comes is that waterproof rating so these are having ipx5 water resistant rating 
so definitely you can use it in rim you can even use it light rainfall so if there is a light rainfall definitely these comes handy and there are two things to it whether your earphones are, are a really ipx5 water resistant or any other water resistant rating is that you will find a covering on the charging case boom here you have and the control buttons would be somewhat enclosed so here also the buttons are pretty much enclosed so there are no chances of water to go inside and damage your battery or any other component so that part is really covered in these earphones so i can definitely say that these are having ipx5 water resistant rating also i tested them under the running tab and they work pretty well even after that so that part is really great and also you can call the voice stand with these earphones just by uh, using the multifunction button and it works pretty great so this is all about these earphones if you have any question or any query related to these earphones definitely you can comment it in the comment section below and i hope i've covered all the points which you might face before purchasing or even after purchasing these earphones and if you're not subscribed my channel till yet what are you waiting for Click on the subscribe button now and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get latest video notification. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day and catch you in the next one.